My name is Michael Jean Lewis. I'm a professional boxer. 4 0, all four by knockout. My first fight went to the second round. I fought a Russian for my first fight, and the rest all first round knockouts. I'm 18. Started fighting at age 10. I turned pro while I was in high school. All four of my pro fights were while I was in high school. Pretty boy. Because everything I do is pretty slick, it's sharp, just like Pretty Boy Floyd. Pretty Boy Mike. He's, you know, the name speaks for itself, Pretty Boy. That's why they need to spend that money. Come see this guy do his thing. He's Pretty Boy. He's going to look good. We both got win styles. We do what we got to do to win. We could box when we have to. We could punch when we have to. And I say my style is like a mixture between Floyd and Roy Jones. Yeah, not doing Pretty Boy Floyd retire. It's time for Pretty Boy Blaze to shine. I train to dominate. I train, I stay ready, so whoever wanted could get it. I'm the future of boxing because I have all it takes to become a champion and I have the right people behind me, the right promoter, the right coach. Most of the time you're going to hear about me, you're going to want to see me. You don't want to be the type of person that always hear what's going on. You want to be the type of person who see it. So if you want to see it, I suggest you pay this money and get with and get, get your money's work. You're going to see a lot of action. Troy ain't nobody. I'm going to beat him. I'm going to take him to hell. I'm a, I hope he got insurance because I'm going to mess him up. This might be his last fight. My goal in this fight is to retire him. He ain't nobody. I'm on my way to the top. He ain't nobody. Stepping stone on my way there. Brad Solomon, I'm a professional boxer. I got locked up at the age of 17, went to prison. You know what I'm saying? But take the wrong road in life and started fighting in there. But boxing was my life. That's all. I always wanted to box as a kid. And when I went there, that was my opportunity, and I picked it up. And I pursued it, you know what I'm saying? I think Brad will be a world champion within eight to 10 months. I'm gonna say it's like this. When an opponent, when the opponent says something, I mean, he gotta bring it to the ring. You know what I'm saying? He just can talk. I mean, you know, I, I, I come to the ring and have it on my mind. You know what I'm saying? And basically, you know, opponents right now, they looking, they choosing fighters right now. Me, I'm an upcoming fighter, and it really don't matter who I fight right now. You know what I'm saying? I mean, boxing is my life. I'm in the gym every day. You know what I'm saying? Seven days a week, every day, I'm in the gym. You know what I'm saying? So basically, I mean, that's what I'm putting it all into. So I know I'm gonna get something about of it. You know what I'm saying? I'm Charmaine Carrington. I'm a professional boxer. I won a few national titles. Um, I medaled in just about all the tournaments. My old belt, it's the ringside national. This is from 2003. And this is the one from when I was in the military. It's uh, the United States Military Boxing Championships. I just felt like I wanted to box one day and found a gym. I'm having fun. I love boxing. There's no feeling like boxing. <laughs> I don't know what it's like to be a male boxer, but I know it's hard to find an opponent as a female. It's very hard as a pro. Their managers and trainers, I think, is probably more cautious than the actual boxers are, I think. I'm always excited, yeah. Yeah. Okay. In every fight, no matter who it is. Oh, everybody that hasn't been able to see me fight yet, there's a chance right now. I'm Tyrese Hendricks, and I'm a professional fighter. I'm dedicated, determined, and I had a desire for boxing, and I want to be, become a world champion. I'm exciting, uh, as in I fight, I box, and if you want to take it there, when you want to actually get dirty with it, I get dirty with you too. A world champion at 135, and then once I get at 135, I'm moving up to 140. And once I get at 140, I'm moving up to 147 to 54. I'm in love with boxing, it's my wife, because it's the only thing I got. Well, first of all, a lot of fighters talk, and you know, they, they, they talk to get in other fighters' heads and, you know, it, it is what it is. When they get to that fight that night on the 30th, then what all he had to, what all he said to, or what all you said to me, you're gonna have to back it up. My name is Daniel Saki. I'm a professional boxer. I'm a professional, I'm a knockout specialist, exciting. Boxer. I can I do everything. I do everything. It depends on my opponent. How he's gonna fight me. I know I'm a knockout specialist. 
Of course, I love Boston. I started Boston when I was a little boy. Because where I came from, it's like, you know, you gotta be out because people fight on the street all the time. So if you, you know, if you know that, someone might be you. So, you know, you gotta be ready all the time. Yeah, my film on your Ghana, it makes sure I get you. If I pay on you quick, I fight in the bar because I fight in the bar, I know it. I don't know what to do. 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 I said it, everybody should pay and watch this fight because it's been a long time that they, they, uh, they saw me fighting. So everybody should make sure, you know, he paid to watch it because I'm the problem, the African problem. Mm -hmm. you can knock, I'm going to knock him out in the second round. My name is Anthony Grinders and I'm a professional boxer. Mm -hmm. My record is 11-1-1, one one. ICE. Uh, I got the nickname when I was young. Uh, I started boxing at the age of seven and they started calling me ICE because I never lost my cool. I always stay calm, cool, and collected no matter how serious the situations get. Um, I've been with the same trainer since I was young, uh, Renee Sanderman Sports Center in Orlando, Florida. The one they call Ice, who is a uh, pure boxer, who's uh, very eye appealing, good to look at, and he feels he has the number of whoever steps in the ring with him. He has developed this maturity about himself when it comes to his opponent. So whoever steps in the ring, whether it be, say, Lewis Turner, uh, Antonio Baker, whoever it is, he feels he has their number. Mr. Renee is military. I mean, we learn values, you know, positive mental attitude, form, focus, finesse. I mean, we have our own acronyms of different things. And we were taught to remember these things as a child and, you know, instill them as everyday things. And it stuck with me. And, you know, he helped me become the man I am today. That's why I'm here where I am right now. I'm 100% boxing. I love boxing from the moment I started doing it. You know, I never wanted to play anything else. I, I always took boxing serious. And it's just, I like the fact of knowing that I could be in charge of what's going to happen in a fight. You know, you got other sports, you're relying on teammates and other people to do the right thing in order for you to win. In boxing, it's, it's all on you. You train your hardest, you're gonna win. You do what you're supposed to do, you're gonna win. It's not like you have to depend on somebody else and hope that they do what they're supposed to do so you can win. It's all on you. Boxing, <laughs> it's a way of life, you know? I mean, boxing's not just a sport or a hobby, you know, it's, it's a way of life, you know? You wake up in the morning, you do your run, you do your cardio, you know, you're watching tapes, you're studying, you, you're learning. You know, you're a student till the day you, you quit the game. And, I mean, I've been a student my whole life now. Whoever my opponent is, <laughs> you must be seriously mistaken. Uh, there's a lot of misconceptions about ICE, and ICE has fought quality opponents, and a lot of fighters haven't. I've been moved very well in my career, and have fought top level guys who have fought people like Chad Dawson, you know, uh, J uh, Jermaine Taylor. Those are the opponents that I've fought. I haven't fought any, how you say, junkies. <laughs> I haven't fought any Billy Mitchums. <laughs> if you want to see some action, if you want to see some boxing, and if you want to learn some new moves, <laughs> watch this fight on the internet. I want to say just one thing. Everybody needs to get that internet pay-per-view. You're going to see some good fights. You're going to feel like, wow, this is the way boxing is supposed to be. And you will want to know, at the end of those fights, you will want to know when's the next one. I'm Tish. I'm Karina. And I'm Candace. And, and we're, we're KO King Ring, Ring Models. Models. Make sure you come out on August 30th to the Holiday Inn Select. Capitol Avenue. You can see all of us and a couple of our other friends. If you can't make it out to the fight, make sure you buy it on pay-per-view.